I have two chickens, uh, Carmela and Esmeralda. They're new to my life. My fiance, Natalia, she moved in probably about five weeks ago, and so did the chickens. I'm here for my appointment. This is Carmela, and she's four years old. She's so cute. Why is she here? Ross. She's perfect. You gotta figure out what's going on. I don't know anything about chickens. So my fiance, Natalia, we brought her chicken all the way from Boston. And on the drive over, uh, something happened with her eye. One pupil is smaller than the other. I'm thinking maybe a stroke or something. I will let Dr. Ross know that you're here, and he'll be in shortly. All right, sounds good. <laughs> I'm not actually quite sure, so I know Ross has more chicken experience, so I want him to kind of help me and figure out my cute little uh, chicken uh, problems. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> I brought in my sick chicken. Oh, it's a chicken. I thought this was a cat for a second. No. Holy I need your help, broski. <laughs> Ryan is being a cheeky brother. She's my adventurous one, so she always tries to escape. Lo and behold, he's arrived as a, as a client. I'll grab her. Oh, come here. You come on out. We'll tag team this. I'm fine with that. And, you know, if we need. Okay, she's gonna poop on me. Oh, I have you ever been on this side? No, this is weird. I mean, am I am I pretty intimidating because my height or you, you are you are Skeletor tall. <laughs> have you done like PLRs no. on her eyes or no? That's a great idea. Okay. Awesome. I went to veterinary school in Scotland. We actually do full rotations with every type of animal, so farm animals, exotics. I've at least dipped my toes in kind of avian medicine and, and things like that. I mean, that one's already pretty constricted. That's true. It does vary in size. So this one, I've got a really good PLR. Go. Okay, now. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, go ahead. Okay, I see. So her pupils do look different size. Maybe we take x-rays. That's, I don't know. I'm just, I'm thinking out loud, but you tell me. Okay. When we see different size pupils, that tells me that something's either going on with the eyes or centrally in the nervous system. And we can do a few different little tests uh, to figure that out. It's like if we have a really complicated yep. like spinal issue or uh, eye issue, yep. there's no harm in getting as much info as we can. I think it's probably not a bad idea to, to x-ray. We could just do a super yep. easy one. When your own pet's sick, it's a whole different ball game. When my own pets are sick, my brain like literally shuts down. It really is hard to, to figure out what's going on and, and think clearly. Oh. <laughs> she left you a present. That's really great. So that actually looks OK. It's a little soft, though. Oh, okay. I would like it to be more firm. <laughs> But thanks for, thanks for cleaning that up for me once we're finished. Hey, wait, I don't clean that up. I'm the client, right? <laughs> it's kind of a Henderson trait. Whenever we get stressed or anxious, we, we do actually kind of bring humor into the situation. Hi, Ryan's chicken. <laughs> it's Carmela. Hi, Carmela. <laughs> Has uh, Greg ever seen a chicken? Greg, what is that? Your food's made from that. So I want it in its rawest form. Carmella, this is the first time I've ever pet a chicken. Hey, Travis, can you get x-rays ready for Carmella? The reason why we'd x-ray a chicken is one, to make sure we don't have any problem or issue with the spinal cord, any trauma or any foreign objects. Those types of things would show up fairly obvious on something like an x-ray. I can hold her this way. Perfect. <laughs> Ah, uh, so you can't see through your body. Because it's so muscular? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh-oh, I see something. And I see it. No, that's her gizzard. But we need a clearer picture. Do you think she would be OK Let's on her it. side? Uh, You've never had to put her on her side? No. No. Oh, Natalia has. Nope. Where's Natalia? And Natalia has much better chicken handling skills than me. Hey, babe, can you swing by? Did they say they wanted that x-ray? Do you want to help me do it? Yeah. Do you think you can hold their water roll? Uh-huh. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Chickens, they are so much smarter than you would ever think. When I come home, they know the sound of my car. They come running out of their little chicken pen. You just have to spend a few minutes with them, and you love them. It's OK, honey. You're all right. Here, actually, here. Yeah, can you hold her neck or something like that? I'll hold her. I'm gonna prime it up. All right, guys, one shot. Good girl. Are you gonna lift that hand? Smile. Ryan, please look at this x-ray. There's three screws in this yeah, chicken's right stomach. The first thing immediately that I thought is, okay, now we're gonna have to do an emergency surgery. Secondly was, you know, I'm a bad mom. How did I let this happen? 
They'll purposefully eat little stones to help with digestion. As long as the pointy parts of the screw yeah. aren't causing trauma. These screws, though they may seem dangerous, are actually not big enough, strong enough, or sharp enough to cause any damage to the gizzards. The gizzard's very, very thick and strong. He's a little fighter. Chickens are always eating small rocks and other small items to help with digestion. The reason why they do this is because they don't have teeth. Do you know how much I love you? Very clever, actually. These rocks and small objects bounce around and help emulsify whatever they've ingested. That way it can start to pass through and, and get digested. Hello? Hey, Jason's Ross. Hey, Dr. Ross, how's it going? Not too bad, man. I appreciate you fielding my phone call. Just be sure, I did put a phone call in to a chicken specialist to get his opinion on the matter. I'm pretty confident that we're gonna be fine, but a second opinion never hurts. Uh, my brother and his uh, fiance, they came in with their chicken and they found some screws in the gizzard. Um, you know, I was just, <laughs> any, any thoughts on if that's like a super urgent concern or, or anything? Now, as long as the screws aren't very large, uh, because that gizzard is so muscular that, mm -hmm. in general, it does a good job with uh, floor materials That's getting good. in there. As long as it's small like, enough, it'll probably like just, in some respects, actually aid in the digestion of some of the some of the more fibrous things that a chicken eats. Okay. When an animal comes in and it's got something foreign that it's ingested, it's very tempting to just go in to remove it. We prefer to only go to surgery as a final option when everything else has been exhausted. Uh, is there any other questions you have? Yeah, when can we get beer? <laughs> <laughs> Anytime, man. Awesome. All right, see you, man. Bye. With respect to Carmilla's pupil size differences, it's most likely as a result of something called Merrick's disease, which is ubiquitous in backyard chickens. While it is something we'll want to continue to monitor, this, like the screws, won't be life-threatening. I think we're going to be just fine. Carmela's going to be just fine. Yeah, I think so. She's She sounds like she's one of those like surviving chickens, this, this chickens that actually can survive through it, which is awesome. So. Yeah. This chicken actually might digest better than all of its friends. Carmeli, look what you got. You get cupcakes. Wow. She's just eating all Fox Hollow's worms. <laughs> Ryan's a good client. I mean, he is. He's a better doctor than he is a client, though. <laughs> so I am so proud of Ross. I, 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 thought, I thought he maybe knew like 10% more than me. He literally knows probably 10 times as much as me. And I don't know very much, which says a lot about Ryan. <laughs> That's I'm okay. Just <laughs> That's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind. She's excited to go home. I'll help you out to the car.